Hello friends, today we're going to be going over two advanced tactics that can be used in Fire Emblem Three Houses. These will be some exploits that the game does not teach you, so let's get started. Accessory Abuse This is one that I didn't use as much as I should have in my first couple of playthroughs. This powerful exploit allows you to make use of one of the best accessories in the game every single turn while also switching to another accessory for battle and enemy phase. This relies on having the march ring in the inventory of a unit you wish to use another ring, shield, or staff in battle. My favorite example of this, which will come to no surprise to anyone who's watched any of my Fire Emblem Three Houses playthroughs, is the use of both the march ring and Thyrsus. 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 Whatever the heck it's called. Let's say we have Lysithia here equipped with Thyrsus with the march ring in her inventory. To take advantage of the march ring, all you have to do is select Lysithia, select her current space to move to, and equip the march ring in the item menu. Back out of selecting her, then select her again. You will be able to take advantage of the march ring for her movement even though it wasn't equipped from the beginning of the turn. After moving her, you can switch back to Thyrsus and use it to attack and have it ready for enemy phase. You can do this every single turn. This gets rid of any downsides that using the march ring would have and replaces them with the benefits of using other accessories. Infinite trading slash trade chaining. In most Fire Emblem games, you can only use the trade command once per turn. Three Houses learns from the only other entry, Thracia 776, that allows you to trade as much as you want in one turn as long as units are adjacent to one another. This can be used to prepare multiple units for enemy phase, swapping their equipped weapons around. You can also swap accessories around if need be, but the most practical and useful example is the trade chain. This could be done in previous entries in the series, but here it only requires one unit and it allows for much more flexibility. Let's take a look at an example, again with the Thyrsus staff. Here we have Lysithia equipped with Thyrsus, but we want to get it to Dorothea. The previous turn we set them up to be a space apart to make this work. We simply fly Ingrid in, trade with Lysithia, then trade with Dorothea. Now Dorothea has the full freedom to move and use Thyrsus to attack. This same tactic can be employed with any accessory or weapon. Trading around powerful items in creative ways can get you out of tough situations or just allow you to deal more damage in a single turn. Well, that's going to be it for today, friends. If you have any questions or thoughts on these tactics, please leave them in the comments. Also, make sure to subscribe. We have a couple of exciting videos coming out at the end of this week that you won't want to miss. And thanks to our Patreon supporters. Anything you can give helps the channel immensely. So if you are interested, make sure to check out our Patreon page. The link is in the description.